Let's talk about it. Let's talk so about you it. expect a man to go all out on the first date. Is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean... What? You're supposed to go all out on the first date? Are you fucking insane? But this is insane. Like, I'm it's cool. the first date, woman. I don't even know if you should... I don't even... I don't even know if you're gonna let me hit tonight, okay? You think I'm gonna take you out to some, like, five-star, like, fucking $50 plus a plate restaurant? Okay. Will you take out a beautiful woman? <laughs> Again, we're really stretching the 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 meaning of beautiful here, but hey guys, sorry about the hair, it's really fucked up right now. But this is one of those videos that I just had to say something. I, I just had to when I was first watching this video, which was literally like five minutes ago, I was watching a most critical video on it. I was just talking to myself and going insane for 20 minutes. So I was like, instead of doing that, let me do that while also recording it for your viewing pleasures so i watched halfway through this video but for the purposes of the viewer it doesn't really matter i'm just gonna be repeating what i said for the first half and then it's gonna be new territory for me throughout the halfway point so enjoy look at this woman's face do you see this shit do you see this shit do you see the the cheesecake factory the cheesecake factory. What the fuck is wrong with the cheesecake factory? You fucking. So for some reason, the only video that that I could find on them was one with this woman just like sitting here, just like eating the whole time. I I, I don't. I... Got me at the cheesecake factory, y'all. Oh, you're not this one. So if you didn't tell, so okay. First of all, th th this is okay. This man offered to open the door for her. Now, I'm not saying that that's like, whoa, like, you know, ultimate, like, king over here, ultimate nice guy, whatever the fuck. But I'm just saying, like, who in the actual fuck nowadays offers to get the door for you, right? So, you want me to park the car, turn off the car, let me get my belongings, whatever, um, get the, get the wallet, because, you know, damn well, I'm going to be paying, right? So, open the car door, come around to your side. And then open the car the front. Like, woman, just get out of the car. Okay, like, it's really not that deep. And this man, this man gets it for her. And she's still, like, being fucking... Is it... Okay, is it... Okay, I'm not sexist. Okay, I love women. Okay, but, like, is it fair to call this woman a bitch? Like, like, come on. Give me, like, come on. Her attitude, maybe not yet, but... Yes. Let me hold off on my on my sexism. Do you want me to open the door for you? Look at look at you. You're recording me. Yeah. Look at th look at this woman's smile. This is this is an actual like villain right here. This is what you see before like you die or some shit. I don't know. Like so. I want you to put yourself in this woman's mind space. Like like actually like actually try it. So so. This is the first day you this, I'm, I'm guessing this is the first time you've met uh, this person um that's driven you here and offered to get the car door for you okay um the the fucking the the balls for lack of a better word actually no the entitlement to be like um the cheesecake factory this motherfucker is not serious he's actually gonna send me to the cheesecake factory <laughs> okay dude let me pull out my phone and I'm gonna blast through ass on TikTok. I'm not gonna be like, oh hey, like, okay. I was gonna say like, maybe she should have just been like, oh I don't wanna eat here. Can we just leave or some shit? But, but just eat. Like you're literally, it's literally free food. I don't understand like who, who would say no to free food. I I, I don't understand. Like not have a normal conversation about it. No no no. In today's day and age. It's immediately, you take out the phone first, you record first, ask questions later. This is insane. Yeah, this is the Cheesecake Factory. This is also, what the fuck is wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, man? Like, so, this is a kind of like a funny story that I look kind of shitty in, I guess. If you, I, I don't know which side you're on here, but um, when I was um, at, my, at my old job, there was this conversation, you know, it was, a, it, it was, it was really dead that night. So someone, a, a, a woman, um, um, asked one of my coworkers, 
Oh, John, where where would you take out or where do you take out uh, women when you get them to a first date? You know, when you when you take them to a first date, and I don't remember what his answer was, but then they asked me. So, I said Olive Garden. Okay, and it, literally every single woman and man there just started like laughing at me, dog. And then that was like an ongoing thing for fucking weeks, if not months. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't mind obviously because it's between co-workers we were just like having fun you know fucking around but what the fuck is wrong with Olive Garden dog I don't understand okay Olive Garden like okay people okay the the whole point of a first date is to get one-on-one -on -one time with the other person right that's why generally speaking it's a bad idea to have a first date at a fucking movie theater right even though it's probably like the most common one you don't get any one-on-one -on -one time, okay? You're looking at a fucking screen and the, the, the whole time, right? So hypothetically speaking, now, listen, hear me out, okay? I'm not saying that this is what I would do, okay? But hypothetically speaking, you could, hypothetically speaking, of course, you could have a good first date at an Arby's or at a McDonald's or at a Wendy's. Like, I'm just saying, like, you, you get some good tasting food, you sit down, you're literally looking directly at each other, and then you just like, go about your business, you know, and say, like, oh, what, what do you do? Oh, there's a, there's a, but no, in today's day and age. So I don't actually know like how common women like these are. I I haven't done the whole dating thing in years. um, So I don't know, like how common this person is, it, but if it's, if it's any, if it's even relatively common, dog, you can check me the fuck out of this whole dating shit forever. Okay, <laughs> I'm good, brother. I'm good. Um, but yeah, like the idea, like, oh my god, like, God forbid he takes you to a fucking nice restaurant. Like, I don't even, I don't even eat out that much, so I, 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 I genuinely could not tell you any like really good fancy restaurants right like the most expensive restaurant that i know is probably like longhorn steakhouse or some shit like that i don't fucking know but man like who the fuck cares dude it's the cheesecake factory y'all what's the problem with that this is a chain restaurant what the fuck who you takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant okay sorry i keep pausing so much okay I, I don't i don't give a fuck i have so much to say about this fucking video i'm I, i'm supposed to be at the gym right now but i'm recording this fucking video because i just have to say something i have to say something okay so okay not to be mean she's pretty okay she's obviously pretty but she's acting like she's fucking beyonce or some shit are we serious right now like again i'm not trying to be mean to this woman okay because obviously, like I know that I don't look the, I don't look the best, right? But, but the difference between me and her is that I'm not gonna sit up here. Well, first of all, I mean, I'm the one that, that that's generally gonna pick where the the first date is, right? I'm not gonna. I would never, ever, ever, ever complain about getting free food. Can you imagine? Go like this woman is going out um on the town or whatever she's going out to eat somewhere that she doesn't have to pay anything for and she's potentially meeting someone that she could be interested in i mean i'm guessing she's remotely interested in him at least right since they're going out but she's potentially meeting like a partner meeting this whole new person and she's acting like this man you want to talk about it i'm this guy's like the most like reasonable person I've ever seen in my life. Hold this shit. Come on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we gonna talk. Sorry, I I just I just I just had a fucking like mini seizure right here or like mini stroke watching this these five seconds. Oh yeah, I wanna talk about it. Yeah. Come on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we gonna talk about it. Okay. It's needless to say that I would have been gone. I would be like, okay, get the fuck out of my car, bitch. <laughs> so, so, yes, let's talk about it. Let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about so it. you expect a man to go all out on the first day. Is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean. It's what? 
You're supposed to go all out on the first date? Are you fucking insane? I'm gonna... Okay. If this... If they've been married for like a year, five years, a whole decade, and he takes you out on an anniversary to, to the Cheesecake Factory, and that's it, like, there's no, like, there's nothing prior to that, there's nothing after that, there's, it's literally just that. Okay, I can understand, okay? Even then, you've been married for five years, okay? If you really give a flying fuck where the anniversary is being held at, you, but at that, assuming you have kids, you should just be happy that you're going out without the worry of, like, taking care of the fucking kids. At least that's been my experience watching my parents celebrate their anniversary. Like, they'll just have, like, like my grandma or something, um, watch over the, um, my little brother, and they just go, go out, you know? But this is insane. Like, it's a first date, woman. I don't even know if she, I don't even, I don't even know if they're gonna let me hit tonight, okay? You think I'm gonna take you out somewhere nice? You think, I, 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 let me rewind, let me rewind that. You think I'm gonna take you out to some, like, five-star, like, fucking... Fifty dollars plus a plate restaurant. Okay. Will you take out a beautiful woman? <laughs> Again, we're really stretching the 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 meaning of beautiful here, but we can. Yeah. And you're courting her because I I get courted. I don't even know what that means. What the fuck is courting mean? Courting meaning. What does that mean? Be involved with romantically. Typically with the intention of marrying. Am I, am, am I, am I pay special attention to someone and attempt to win their friend? Am I? This is the first day. I don't know you. The whole point of our first date is to get to know you. Maybe on a second or third day. Or maybe like after we officially like, you know, become a couple. Then maybe the first date after that could be somewhere nicer, right? Because like I know you. I someone know your values, who you are as a person. I know if I want to be with you, okay? But, um... So you're courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. You're supposed to cover her. You're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. That's what you're supposed I, to do. I agree. I, I, I went into this day as I expect... Uh, with the expectations for myself to keep you safe. Mm -hmm. You know, to respect you, uh, to favor for your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and just treat you like a gentleman, which I believe I have done. I mean, you, yeah, you've been pretty and nice, then, but I mean, and then, cheesecake factor. So notice how this is these those those um that like sentence right there. I don't know if it counts as a sentence or so. That sentence right there, in like it's 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 perfect, a perfect encapsulation or representation of how artificial this woman is, right? He said, "Yes, I, I, you know, I treated you like like a gentleman supposed to treat you, right?" And then she's like, "Well, you have been pretty nice, but Cheesecake Factory." That just goes to show how artificial this woman is. That's there, there's nothing like. She doesn't, like, there's no authenticity? There's nothing authentic about her. It's literally just, it, it, it's literally just how much money can you spend on me? That's it. That's literally it. Wow. I, on the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with on the first date. I expect her to be respectful, too. I expect her to be cooperative. Wait, what? What did she say? What did she say? What did she say? I expect her to be respectful too. I expect her to be cooperative. I don't. I. I. I hate when people do this shit because it's so clear that they disagree with what was just said, but they say it's so quiet that you don't know what the fuck she even said. And, and at least you know. Um... And by the way, it's a red flag that she disagrees with the idea that she has to be respectful about the first date. Like Jesus Christ. What did I do that wasn't cooperative? Huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe we are living in a simulation and the aliens that are supposed to like feed, um, feed stimuli to my eyes and brain 
malfunction so maybe like i didn't maybe i i i i, I, I Maybe what I saw in the first minute of this was completely just fabricated from nothing. But in the, in the, in the, I don't know what I'm saying, in, okay, in the, in, that obviously didn't fucking happen, you dumb fuck. You've obviously been not cooperative here. A, a normal person would have been, you know what, I'm not, I'm not even blaming her for wanting for not wanting to go out with someone that takes you to cheesecake factory on the first day that's complete you know what i may think you're an artificial fucking husk of a person that's fine though that's fine that's just my opinion okay i wouldn't call you like an asshole for that all you had to do was go along with with the ride so to speak right get the free food who knows maybe you end up hitting it off with him right just go home and, or, you know, tell him, hey, I don't want to see you again. Or, hey, I don't think this is going to work out, but thanks for the dinner, though. That's what a nice, non-spoiled, non-entitled person would do. But instead, you're doing this whole charade here, just like everyone does nowadays. It's so... It, by the way, this guy is like an actual saint in my ass right now. Because holy Christ, I'm not exaggerating whatsoever. I would have gone in the car, taken her home, and fucking blocked her afterwards. Holy shit. I would have gone back. Actually, no, no. Hold on. I would have gone back to Cheesecake Factory, take a picture of me eating, sending it, send it to her, block her, and then just move on. Because holy shit. I mean, like, even like... Uh, you got me fucked up if you think I'm gonna be talking about some please please well actually I mean never mind that's not what this guy's doing he's he's actually just pointing out like how much of a dumb fuck she's being in 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 a way nicer way than I would be uh, put your hand around my arm or anything like that or hold my hand or anything like that I mean it's too early for that okay I yeah, no, yeah. I yeah. can respect that I can respect that okay. when uh got your apartment to pick you up uh you didn't want to invite me in i can respect that too just for not again maybe we're not there yet. okay and then but i mean i feel like i'm doing everything i'm supposed to do as a woman <laughs> but i got myself all made up there's wrong with the cheesecake factory right Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Go on, tell me. Just, just tell me one thing, you you, you entitled fuck. Tell me one well, thing. Look at, I mean... Look at my plan, where we were gonna go, originally. See, now that's that's where that's where we should have went, Ari. Right there. Call See, him. Call him. No. No, you... No. She actually died. This man was going to. You. This is. It's delusional. Let me know. See, I specifically oh, no, told you. Both yesterday and this morning, that I'd come to pick you up at 4 a.m. At uh, 4 p.m., right? Mm. And I got to your place at 4 p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour, and so I was. Waiting downstairs I for an hour. Yeah, right? but I wasn't expecting for work to take me so long. I got home a little late, and like I said, I don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment. And that is not possible. And that's why I'm saying, I'm thinking, okay, if we're not there in the relationship to, you know, meet uh, at your apartment, then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a nice fancy rela uh, restaurant as Aria, especially if I'm paying for the whole thing, which I'm still willing to do, I, mean, I would have been, okay. but if we're late, I mean, I told I mean, you we twice, it wasn't that late. we literally oh. left your- Can you speak up, you fucking- mm. Mm. I, I was about to go, okay. Can you fucking speak up? I stop doing this fake. Stop doing this fake. She's literally just be like, <laughs> say something. Use your fucking mouth. Your place at the time the reservation was supposed to be. Oh, oh, oh. And I 
specifically said four because maybe. Excuse. Oh my god, I hate people like this. Oh my god. With the with like TikTok's um popularity like blowing up over these past few years, we've seen so many videos like these. Like it's literally the same archetype of a woman. Or um I I I I, I haven't really seen like men do it. Like, um I don't wanna come off as like I'm like sitting on women or whatever, but like it's the same archetype of a woman. It's literally just like making like dumbass faces, <laughs> being fucking incredibly entitled, being incredibly rude. Like, you can get there early and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there, and while we're in the parking lot. I mean, I'm we, waiting for a reservation. We can still get to know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like you know, no. equivalent to that? I mean, I, I literally you, you don't said. understand. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. Okay, nope, nope, she's, nope, nope. This woman is fucking, like, but I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't understand how some women go their whole lives acting like this and living like this. I don't under, I don't, it's, I don't want to make the comment like, like, um, like, I don't know what you would call it, like red pill and sell talking points or whatever, but a man could never, ever act like this. Never. Can you imagine a man saying this? Can you imagine a man saying, I look too good to walk into this restaurant? I, I will die. You. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> what the fuck is her brain even on right now? So she's saying that if she walks into the Cheesecake Factory, the people already in the Cheesecake Factory will look at her some like like really weird and look um look down upon her because she's getting in the in the Cheesecake Factory. But those, but those people are already in the cheesecake factory. You don't. Listen, I, as I said, I have very specific certain expectations uh, for them. Yeah. I can tell it's not gonna be there. I ha and maybe we're not right for each other. The, almost, dude. I, I could. Whatever the fuck this guy's name is, dog. Please, please, please block this bitch and never. Ever thought this man deserves a good woman, dog. This man really he's being so incredibly calm, cool, collected. And, and this woman's like, please, man, please. This guy's literally like the perfect definition of a fucking gentleman. He was willing to fucking actually take this fucking look at her. Look, uh, I mean, I can't even get I can't, I, I don't. I would normally like, and I have gone in on her before I started recording this shit, but I, I just, I just can't say what I was saying on, 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 on YouTube. I don't know he did Yes, he did. Yeah. So, so respectfully, I'm gonna just drop you off. I don't know he did What do you mean, oh no, he did it? The shit. What? Who the fuck says that? Who the fuck says that like in real life? Like who the fuck? Imagine having a conversation with another person. So it's literally just one on one. And then they do something that you disagree with. And then you literally say out loud, oh no he didn't. Yes he did. Yeah. Oh my god, I, I completely forgot this woman was here. I was like, who the fuck said that? Is someone in the fucking backseat? So you just want to call it a night? Your ass I mean, isn't yeah. there some kind of compromise or something? Uh, <laughs> ladies, can you believe this? <laughs> she's, she's, she's not a real person. She's not a real person. She, this woman is a fucking robot manufactured by fucking in by like fucking 4chan incels. This whole thing is manufactured. Actually, there's, there's no way this is real. There's no way this is real.
There's no way this is real. This this, 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 this whole thing was um, orchestrated by incels to make women look bad. There, there's, there's no way. There's no way, dude. By the way, I haven't checked the comments on this original video. It, it, it literally, uh, it, it, I'm pretty sure it, it had over 100,000 comments. I, I'm, if there's any, if there's even one comment that's on her side, that's towards the top, I'm, I'm actually gonna just, I'm, I don't know what about to do, guys, please. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm with him. Uh, but, I want the parking space. I, I, if I don't feel respected, I, um, I'm not gonna go through I'm with him. I hope she doesn't live too far from here, because that's gonna be really awkward. Stick your face up off the floor. I mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand that I could have been a bit more cooperative. You had, you made some good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you want to go home? Uh, I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a, a lot of expectations. For, for this is, this is, it's it. So, just j judging off the look of her face, I think what I'm about to say is about to be this completely disqualified and thrown out the window. But this is the most reasonable she's been, literally th th this whole time. This is wow! Like, whole, I, I can't believe this is even the same person. What are you saying, dude? Like, what are you saying? What are you saying, woman? This story Sorry. does have a happy ending, apparently. Drop yep, drop her ass off. Good job. And I mean, dude, like, I, 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 no, no. I was about to say, I feel bad for her because, like, she got, like, all dressed, you know, she, she got her, her hair good. She probably did, did her eyebrows, eyelashes, lipstick. But it's like, at, at the same time, you brought this on yourself, man. You brought this on yourself. Good job. Yeah, hit him with the whatever. I guess I, I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yep. <laughs> this has to be a skit. No, I'm, I'm with, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, my, my uh, sister. <laughs> Sorry, that was the, the dumbest shit I've ever said in my life. No, but seriously, like this feels straight out of a fucking movie or something. Does she? Has to be a skit. Does she? List. Okay, that's the whole video. Okay, so this woman. Okay, cool. You know what? Like, go check out her channel, guys. Because I just fucking <laughs> maybe she's gonna like copyright me. I, I, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just, just kidding. So I don't even like. You know what? I'm, but I'm just about to head, head to the gym. I feel like I've said everything that I've needed that's needed to be said, um, throughout the duration of however long this fucking video is gonna be. So, um, that's really it, man. I don't understand how some people are so entitled. Um, but yeah, um, have a good day.